smoke. That was smoke. What is going on, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in back to the channel. Today is a special day because we got something new. Not new, it's actually old, old and new. Can you tell what kind of car that is? Actually, it's a truck. It's a truck. Alina and I made a super impulsive decision. We got a new car. I'm stoked on this. I'll tell you the reasoning why we got it. The Miata is too low. The 240 is going to have a ton of projects where it's going to be sitting on jack stands and Alina needs to drive her car to work. So I need a new car. In turn, Alina gets also a new car to work on and wrench with me and make videos on for you guys. We need a new daily basically. Why did we buy this car? Yeah, it is a V8 and it's completely, totally the opposite of what I'm about. Japanese tiny cars. This is a big American vehicle. It's our first American build that's gonna be on this channel. I wanna show you guys what we got, but real quick, it's utilitarian V8 5.3 LS. Not, well, it's of the LS family, I should say. It's a 5.3. Let's just show them the car. All right guys, so this is our 2005 Chevy Silverado. It's two-wheel drive, LS. I don't know if it's L an LS. This is the most impulsive thing I've done. I woke up a couple days ago, told Lena, said, you know what, I really want to get a truck. Uh, I never owned a truck before, so this is technically our first truck. We found one for $12,000. We talked them down to $10,000, drove right up the street, picked it up, and drove back home. Now, this car is special to me because it's only got 58,000 miles. Not only does it have only 58,000 miles, but the interior is absolutely immaculate. If you're familiar with these Silverados, you'll know they were usually used for work trucks and a lot of people kind of trashed them, they really just beat them up. But this interior is the cleanest one we found. The ultimate grandma, grandpa truck. This is basically, they only drove it on the weekends to go down to church and pick up some groceries. No cracks, no stains, other than this little circle here, but that's like from a potted plant or something like that. So it's not even a big deal. We're gonna completely detail this make it one of a kind. Now I want to show you guys around this truck. We'll start in the back and work our way up. Kind of give you guys a rundown of exactly what we want to do with this build. It did start out as, it did just start out as a daily driver. But once I actually started searching up other people's builds on like Instagram and stuff, I really got inspired by a few different trucks. So I think we're going to be doing a Baja slash trophy truck slash free runner slash overland build slash slash slash. And I know that's a lot to take in. The cool thing about this build is it's going to be completely on a budget. We're going to see how well this truck does doing all those activities with absolutely trashy parts. Yeah, is it an excuse to not spend $15,000 on front end suspension? Absolutely. We're trying to buy a house in six months, so that doesn't really fit the budget. So we're gonna try to build this truck for, we said seven, but for YouTube, we'll up it to 10, right? That's a good number. So we're gonna try not to spend more than $10,000 on this truck. But anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's look at the truck. All right, so it is an extended cab, meaning it's got the suicide doors, a little bit bigger than a single cab, but not a full-size crew cab. It does come standard with a six and a half foot bed, which is gonna be nice because a lot of the companies that do the pre-runner kits, they offer all their kits in a six and a half foot bed for the bedside, so it's gonna be perfect for our car. Now, the nice thing about this, it's got the plastic liners all over it. Uh, it's completely bed lined and it came with a tonneau cover, so that'll be nice to make it look a little bit cleaner while it's in the middle of all the building process. First thing on the list to do though, that doesn't close. I guess that's a common problem. You have to like click a little button in there. But surprisingly enough, there's not a lot of flaws on this car, but it does need a few things. These white marks don't come out. I already tried. It gives me an excuse to actually buy some stuff on eBay. So now this came with 33s. Uh, we are gonna probably upgrade it to a 37, maybe a 39, depending on pricing and stuff like that. It does have brand new tires, so that's nice. And you know what, actually, I'm gonna leave two pictures right here and I want you guys to comment whether you like the 37s or the 39s. There's not too much of a difference, but it will make a difference in terms of like fitting them to the vehicle. I haven't done a lot of research on this thing yet, but I think it's 35. Once you go past that mark or 36s, I don't know, there's major trimming involved. So yes, we will have to do that, but this truck isn't perfect. It does have some rust underneath, not a ton, but enough for me to feel okay about chopping this thing up. It is very clean, but I think we can make it look even better. Now onto the inside. I don't wanna mess with anything too much on the interior. I might wanna just change up everything to go full bucket seats. <laughs> okay, honestly, like at PVP or PFP, I'll leave another picture here. I'm, I'm gonna leave a lot of pictures for you guys in this video, or Lena is. The PVP seats are 
correct me if I'm wrong, whatever those bucket seats are, I think that would look badass in here. Now, it would be pretty cool to have like grandma spec interior with like a fully trophy truck style to it, but I'll let you guys be the deciding factor on that. It is gonna be a little bit more expensive, obviously, but we'll try to make the work in the budget. For when we actually do wanna take this thing out camping and make camping videos and whatnot, extended cab is nice because we can house a bunch of things under the seat and behind us, as well as the six and a half foot bed We'll add racks to the top for a pop-up tent and things like that. Things to get us out of ditches and whatnot. Yeah, there's nothing really. There, I mean, the speakers need to be replaced in it. And I'm sure you guys are pretty tired of like speaker install videos. We'll probably do that off camera. If you guys do want to see that, leave a comment down below. Let me know you guys want to see that. Before suspension, now I will say, because the mileage is so low on this, it doesn't need a single thing. It's crazy how clean it is. The suspension is completely fine. We will be changing that out with, I think we're gonna go with a three inch rough country lift. Don't kill me, I know it's cheap eBay shit, but it's gonna give us that look and it'll give us uh, the clearance for the bigger wheels and tires. Oh wait, oh, I forgot about the rear bumper, come here. This rear bumper uh, makes it look more farm truck like you know there's no need for this so i think we're going to be doing a missoula rear bumper and again another picture here it's not too expensive and i really like the way it kind of tucks everything in back here so that'll probably be one of the first things we end up doing for this truck now alina told me not to give away too much information but we will be chopping these bedsides up they're pretty good honestly but right down there we actually got some rust it's a little hard to see there it is got some rust issues so not too big of a deal we will start by doing a dovetail cut down here though for the Missoula rear bumper. Anyways, moving on some more, but this front end here has got to go. Way too low, I don't like the way it looks. So I believe we're just gonna absolutely remove everything down here. And from the headlights, we're gonna add a radius bar front bumper I think is what they call it it's basically just a beam with a skid plate underneath it and obviously like any old Chevy it's gonna have the trashy paint so um, we got probably a Mako paint job coming up or we might end up wrapping it in some crazy livery to make it look like more that race oriented would be so sick. wouldn't that be cool I didn't even think about that but anyway any some kind of livery idea I'm not too sure exactly which one we want to do but I think it would be perfect for this section right here there's a bunch of ideas that I still haven't even thought of yet I know it's really hard for you guys to picture this, but in my head I have like an entire maybe 25 different designs for this truck. But let's see what's underneath the hood. Does it look too, too small to own a, a truck? No. No, you no. don't think so? There's a Vortec 5.3, big old honking V8. It's, it gets like 15 miles per gallon. I drove it a couple days to work and this thing sucks gas. It's not the best, but I mean, it does take regular gas. Yeah, and it's just, I mean, these V8s can go up to like 400,000 miles on like stock everything. Reliability factor is gonna be 100% there. But she is a little bit dirty. She needs a good detailing and uh, she's just a dirty old pig. It's okay, I can't reach it. <laughs> Woo! You listen to that baby purr. It shakes the truck. That's torque, baby. That bitch pops? Oh, hell yeah. I feel like such a man in this thing. Feel this is where it starts, lady. This is where it all starts. We're gonna light them up. Oh my god. Yeah, baby! I should probably put my belt I don't on, have huh? My belt on we don't either. have our belts on. We don't need belts in this bitch. Yes, we do. Did you hear that, though? It lit them up. I'm so used to not having cars fast enough that do that. I know. None of our cars can do burnouts except for this thing. This is awesome. Train horn. Screw the Miata. This thing needs a train. Well, maybe well, both. Be funny if the, both like, need train horns, yeah. honestly. All right, that's enough joy riding. Now, in all honesty, this thing is super clean, and we have a ton of ideas for it. But the budget is going to be gradual. We're not going to just jump right into this build because we completely we're not forgetting about the 240 or the Miata. We actually have a couple videos coming up on that very soon. All in all, the summary of this is we are going to be building a pre-runner trophy truck Baja Overland vehicle for under $10,000. And I just wanted to pinpoint, this is our first video with this truck. So welcome the 05 Silverado. If you have any names, because this bitch needs a name, <laughs> leave it down in the comments because I was thinking Ugly Betty or something like that, but I think that's a little bit too cliche. So purely cosmetic, I'm not too familiar with these trucks other than like how I want it to look. But if you guys know a bunch more than I do, which 
probably most of you do, leave it in the comments because I do want to know what you guys think of what I should do. Maybe upgrade the gearing or, oh Sal, you need, I heard you need a trans cooler if you're going to be towing anything. This truck did come with a tow kit, so we will be towing some things. Or taking like the Miata over to Gatlinburg out in, I don't know where it's, Georgia or something, all the way across country. Like this is the perfect tow rig for the, for the stance cars to go see other places. So I'm excited to expand more in the channel itself. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Leave them down there. Leave a like if you like the video. It really helps the channel a ton. If you're new to this channel, my name is Sal. Alina's behind the camera filming. Consider subscribing. It's going to help us out a ton. Stay tuned. Every Monday we got new videos, so be sure to stay up to date on those. If you have any questions regarding any of the builds or anything like that, you can go hit us up on Instagram and TikTok at 86goals. You can see all the behind the scenes footage over there as well. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. We'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.